morning everyone thank you for doing your devotions with me today we are in exodus chapter 20 verses 1 through 17. let's pray together O oh lord god as we come to seek your face this morning would you come O oh lord god and shine the light of your love into our hearts O oh god come and reveal yourself in your love mercy and kindness into us O oh lord god help us that we might see jesus through these words through this time we love you god we pray this in jesus name amen so in exodus chapter 20 verses 1 through 17 in verse 1 it says and god spoke all these words i am the lord your god who brought you out of egypt out of the land of slavery you shall have no other gods before me you shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on earth beneath or in waters below you shall not bow down to them or worship them for i the lord your god am a jealous god punishing the children for the sins of their parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me but showing love to a thousand generations for those who love me and keep my commands commandments you shall not misuse the name of the lord your your god for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but on the seventh day, for the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you nor your son, nor daughter, nor your male or female servants, nor your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your towns. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath and made it holy. Honor your father and your mother, so that it may so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor, you shall not covet your neighbor's house, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife nor his male or female servants, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Amen. Obviously, um, as we read this passage in Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17, you most likely recognize it to be the Ten Commandments. I hope that you do recognize it to be the Ten Commandments. Um, yeah, it's the Ten Commandments, you know, and it begins with, uh, rules on what it means to love the Lord, meaning that we should really not make and serve other idols. We should really revere him and revere the Sabbath because it's the day that he has set apart for us that we should not use his name in vain and um, love him. Love him in a way that honors him and respects him and, and shows him the, the due respect that he has and deserves. Um, you know, there's so many different ways for us to understand what it means to love God. And yet, I think when it really comes down to it, we know what it means. I think in our hearts, we really do know what it means to love God. It's a question of living it out. Most of us in, um, in theory and in word, we say that we love God, but it's almost like we love God. But we also love, right? We also love our neighbors. We also love ourselves. We also love our my own desires, my will, and my my wants. And God is calling on us to love God first with all his heart, our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And Jesus also tells us, love your neighbor as you love yourself, right? And that's the following verses, um, starting in the fifth commandment of just honoring our parents and it begins there and it continues on and it's basically telling us that we should also be satisfied with that which God has given us and not steal and not murder and not commit adultery but be happy in that which with which the Lord has given us um, it's such valuable and important words because really when we think about what it means to be satisfied in God. It means for us to trust God enough to believe that he has what's best in store for us. 
And I believe that to be true. I, I believe that God is giving us the willingness to accept his will. And when we do so, we can live in freedom. We can live in harmony. We can live in peace. We're no longer comparing uh, ourselves to our neighbors, but instead we can genuinely celebrate their victories and mourn with them in their tragedies. We can walk together faithfully without competing against each other, just to be able to love one another as we love God. His love overflows to one another. It's such important words that the Lord is telling us for us to live out love. Not just when things are convenient, not just when things uh, work out for us the way that we want, but even when it's difficult to love, that we would live out love. And so when we read the Ten Commandments, uh, we think of Jesus's words that all the laws and the prophets, they depend, they hang on those two things, loving God and loving your neighbor. So let's live that out. Let's do our best tonight, oh, today, throughout the day, we would do our best to really love God, love our neighbors and represent him well. Let's pray together. Father, as we come, help us, O oh Lord God, to love you more. Help us to fall in love with you day by day and to be, Lord God, living out your love, not just to those whom we think deserve that love, but Lord God, with an open heart, with an open mind, be able to accept one another love one another and bless one another in a manner that will bring you glory and honor. We thank you, God. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks, everyone. Have a blessed day today. Bye-bye.